With district tournaments in the rearview mirror in Class B girls, the field is now slimmed down to 64. Just eight of those teams will be in the state tournament by the week's end. We're going to start with Region 5, where Shiloh entered the tournament as the top seed. They would face Washburn. Let's go to the first game of the day in Mandan. Shiloh out to a fast start. Haley Quam taking the steal, going the other way, and coast to coast for the land. Skyhawks on a 12 2 run to start. Washburn open a break through that tough Shiloh defense. Chev Obering sees Ashkin Schmitz. Space for the sophomore. Cardinals cutting into the lead. Going the other way. Pass back to Hannah Weston. She's going to get bodied in the lane. Somehow her shot goes in and one. Great play by the junior. Shiloh will move on, winning 72 37. Going to the second seed in Garrison facing New Salem Alma. The Holsteins with a fantastic effort tonight. Alina Vanderwall driving for the land. Down 16 at the half. They cut it to six. Upset alert in Mandan. Troopers would gather themselves down the stretch. Mia Gehring with a long distance shot nails it. And now it's a timeout to New Salem. Out of the timeout. Gehring inside to Kara Schler. Fouled from behind. And she hits the shot. Three point play for the eighth grader. Garrison would hang on to this one, 58-48. Over to the defending Region 5 champs, Wilton Wing facing Grant County. Second quarter action, moving the ball cross court to Kalissa Schuck. A threat from beyond the arc and proves it there with the three ball. Grant County looking for an answer. Kyle's with a bounce attack this season. Anna Schatz with the three-pointer. A perfect response. Grant County wins 56-40. They will face Shiloh tomorrow. Final game in Region 5, Central McLean and Flasher. Winner takes on Garrison. Bulldogs off to a good start as well, grabbing offensive rebounds. Riley Fleck there with the putback. Flasher on the board. Central McLean the other way. They would go on a 9-0 run to start, including a pair of threes from 7th grader Morgan Schneider. Cougars with a big second half. They move on with a 74-40 win. Over to Region 7, Beulah the two-seed facing 7th seed at Hart River. Miners up five in the fourth quarter. Sage Frolick cutting into there, dri driving right through the middle of the paint. Gets the tough lay in a fall three-point game. The Miners go on a run. Kinsey Zura leading the charge, draining a three ball from the wing to extend the Miners' lead. But the nail in the coffin comes from Harris Buchamp. The post move goes, and she gets a foul to go with it. The Miners survive 57-48. Bowman County, the third seed, taking on Hedinger Scranton. Bulldogs wasting no time. J.C. Fisher with the fake outside, takes it herself, lays it in, part of a 10-3 run. Nyhawks not going away, though. The steal to Layla Jensen. She's going to take it all the way to the court. It was close early. Bowman County. It's going to end up getting the win over the Nighthawks. Top seed of Glen Ellen Hebron taking on the home team, Dickinson Trinity. Titans fighting a double digit deficit. But look at this from Callie Kubis. Steps through the middle defenders to finish at the rim. Bearcats with four players in double figures, though. This is Michaela Schneider leading the way for them. On their way, a 64 38 win. Wild four seed Beach battling fifth seed in Mott Region. Wildfire up five in the third. Tyra Feldman trying to extinguish the flames. A big bucket underneath. A foul three point game. We're going to take a look at the scoreboard here as well. Mott Region going to get the win 71 56.